Today would have been Chicago police officer Louise Weska's 31st birthday. Now, instead of planning a party, his loved ones are planning a funeral. Weska was gunned down outside his Gage Park home as he returned from his shift over the weekend. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live at CPD headquarters with what we've learned about how his memory will be honored tonight. Jermont. Joe and Erica, as top brass here at Chicago Police Headquarters work with this fallen officer's family, we know that the visitations and services have been finalized for Sunday and next Monday. And there's one group which steps in every time CPD loses an officer, and tonight they're doing just that. Along Western Avenue, the Chicago Fire Ambulance carries a hero. You know, there really aren't words. The procession from the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office slowly arrived to the Blake and Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn. This is Chicago's prepares to say thank you and goodbye to Officer Louise Weska. You remember how you felt. Sandra Wortham is the president of the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation. It's a club no officer's family wants to ever become a member of, yet one essential when the ultimate sacrifice is made. It will be a resource for whatever she may need um, emotionally, for support as, as the years go on. Sunday morning, as the 31-year-old officer arrived on this block in Gage Park, he was approached by someone who shot and killed him. Police said the officer may have been a victim of a deadly carjacking while in uniform just after finishing his shift. We also want to acknowledge that our officers are being lost to the same violence they fight. CPD released this video of who they called a person of interest in the murder. Store surveillance shows the guy in one outfit before the murder, then later buying the water bottle in a different outfit. Exclusive video obtained by CBS2 shows an officer examining piece of clothing found. Yet, as police search for clues, Wortham and the Police Memorial Foundation are ready to support the fallen's family. I look forward to giving his mom a hug. You know, because, God, you raise your children, you do everything you can for them, and then they choose to serve our city, and then the evil in our city does this to them. The visitation for Officer Weska will be this Sunday at Blake and Lamb, and Monday on the public services. And honoring him is also really a gift to, I think, not only the police community, but also to the Chicago community. Now, as the family grieves and Chicago prepares to pause to remember this officer, the community members are offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest in this case. You can remain anonymous. All you have to do is contact CPD's tip line. Reporting live outside CPD headquarters tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Joe and Erica. All right. Jermont, thank you.